a little birdie told us that you are uh, doing some tours at the Punk Rock Museum, and we got very excited when we first heard that. And, yeah, yeah. Uh, I can't appreciate wait to you coming on. We have lots of questions about it. Yeah, I mean, like, I haven't seen how they set up the, um, you know, all the exhibits and everything. So I almost want to go a day early just to be like, okay, what's where? Because everyone has their version chronologically of how punk rock is. Um, so I just want to acclimate myself to their version. Well, I, maybe you should go back for a second tour because I think the first tour would be really awesome just as a fan if I was like there and you like didn't know where everything was on the first tour <laughs> and then I took yeah. it around a completely different way. It would be really fun. I'm just saying. You know what I should do? Maybe for the like the whole tour, I just do like a safety check, like in the very beginning for like an hour, just being like, this is where the exits are. I make just and make it such a long security safety check that at the end I'm like, oh, we ran out of time. I'm so sorry. <laughs> <laughs> I think that would be that would be amazing. I, I think whatever the experience is, it would be awesome. I know I was in Vegas just a month ago. These two guys were out there, Brandon and Sam, uh, my co-host, uh, and they were actually I didn't have time. I had a show and rehearsals going on while I was out there. Uh, but these guys got a chance to go to the Punk Rock Museum, so maybe they could fill you in a little bit. What, what, what were some of the stuff that you loved the most over there, guys? Go, Brandon. Dude, yeah, the whole experience, just walking through it and literally just seeing the chronological history of punk was pretty cool because I have a little bit of like punk background, but not that much, so to see it just laid out like that was really, really cool, and then seeing some of the bands that you know I know and listen to and seeing the memorabilia there was really, really fun. We'll and see. so the whole thing laid out, um, like as you move through the museum, you go yeah. further. Okay. And yeah, how far yeah. back does it go? Dude, what does it start with? Like the 70s? Well, you, you start, you walk through the store. So from my understanding, yeah. Mike and all of them were looking for a punk rock store. And then the museum came afterwards, but now it's mm -hmm. taken over. So you, you start through the store and it goes in chronicle, uh, chronological order of the history of punk. And they got... Just so you know, they have uh, tons of flyers on the walls and you're free to take them. So people think they're getting away with something like they're stealing it, but they're not. Uh, I guess Mike had bought a, a telephone pole. And I remember looking over it with Brandon and I and I'm like, it's just like when you're in the street and you see all the flyers on it. So it gives you that feel. Uh, it's so well done. Um, then you go upstairs and it's got like crossover corner. They have a tattoo parlor. They got I mean, it's got a little bit of everything for everybody. And uh, from my understanding, talking to um, Colin and, and some of the other people, they want you to just make it your own, Fred. They, they want you to, and I don't want to, they'll give you the whole spiel. But the, from what they're giving a once over to the people that come, they say, hey, just talk about whatever you want in your life experience. And that's kind of why we wanted you on today, because we have so many questions about you. Uh, but I do, I don't know what you have planned, but are you doing one tour or two? Two. So are you going to do one as uh, as Ian? Oh, that's not a bad idea. I think that would be rad. <laughs> I, I mean, I think the only risk is uh, how like how long does it hold up? You know, do a character for like 15 minutes. Hey, great. And then after a while, we're in an elevator. We're going up some stairs and it's like, all right, we get it. You know, <laughs> but maybe that's what I do. Maybe that's it would be right. nice. It would be nice to do a little bit of that character. Yeah. I mean, that, that that's such a great uh, character uh you know the love for margaret thatcher i, I mean just god that's so hilarious that, it's oh, such thanks. a great skit was that your Thank idea you. or who, i know i saw that's i read some Seth things myers that. that was, was Seth, Seth myers. myers okay you i know like i as much as i would love to take credit like i came up with this idea that you know uh the, you know the only punk in in like the british scene who loved maggie thatcher it was seth myers it was uh, it, it was because she died it was after she died and he was like, how can we work this into a sketch? And that's what he came up with. So uh, luckily I got to do it, but yeah, purely his, his idea. Did you, was, was there other guys that Saturday Night Live that are, was he into punk at all or are yeah, you? Yeah, he doesn't like, he loves punk and it's almost like uh, I got to sort of share with him my experience with punk. 